the anatomy of the brain. The brain is that part of the central nervous system that lies inside the cranial cavity. It is continuous with the spinal cord through the foramen magnum. The major parts of the brain are forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. The forebrain consists of the cerebrum and the diencephalon. The hindbrain consists of the pons, medulla and cerebellum. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and consists of two cerebral hemispheres connected by a white matter mass called the corpus callosum. The hemispheres are separated by a deep cleft called the longitudinal fissure. The surface layer of each hemisphere is called the cortex and is composed of grey matter. The cerebral cortex is thrown into folds called gyri, separated by fissures called sulci. The sulci divide the cerebrum into lobes. The frontal lobe is situated in front of the central sulcus and above the lateral sulcus. The parietal lobe is situated behind the central sulcus and above the lateral sulcus. The occipital lobe lies below the parieto occipital sulcus. The temporal lobe is situated below the lateral sulcus. The precentral gyrus lies immediately anterior to the central sulcus. It's called the motor area. The body is represented in an inverted position in the motor area and this is called the motor homunculus. The nerve cells controlling the movements of the feet are located in the upper part and those controlling the movements of the hands and face are in the lower part. The Broca's area or the motor speech area lies just above the lateral sulcus. It controls the expression of speech. The post-central gyrus lies immediately posterior to the central sulcus and is known as the sensory area. The superior temporal gyrus lies immediately below the lateral sulcus. The middle of this gyrus is concerned with the reception and interpretation of sound and is called the auditory area. The visual area is situated on the posterior pole and the medial aspect of the cerebral hemisphere in the region of the calcarine sulcus. The ventricles of the brain are two lateral ventricles which are connected through the interventricular foramen with the third ventricle which is connected to the cerebral aqueduct which is present in the midbrain and this is connected to the fourth ventricle which is connected to the central canal of the spinal cord. So you have two lateral ventricles to the third ventricle, to the cerebral aqueduct, to the fourth ventricle, to the central canal of the spinal cord. The diencephalon consists of the dorsal thalamus and the ventral hypothalamus. The thalamus is a large mass of gray matter that lies on either side of the third ventricle. It is the great relay station on the afferent sensory pathway to the cerebral cortex. The hypothalamus forms the lower part of the lateral wall and the floor of the third ventricle.